Welcome to this video. Today we are testing the free version of Avast and I do have a folder with a bunch of samples of malware, 460 samples in total and we will be using these threats to see how well Avast does or does not do as far as protecting us against these specific types of threats. The procedure will be as follows. In a moment I will enable the real-time protection here in Avast and we'll let it sit for a few minutes to see if it can detect anything on its own after which we will run a system scan if there's any samples remaining after that, we will scan the samples folder directly. If there's any samples remaining after that, we will begin to execute them and see if the real-time protection can stop them. First, we will make sure Avast is up to date. And we are good to go, so I'm going to close this. We're going to go ahead and turn on. Everything is enabled, and so let's go ahead and let it sit for just a few minutes. So far, nothing has popped up, but let's double-check our samples folder. And we're still sitting at 460. And so let's go ahead and initiate a scan. And we're going to do a full scan. And we'll let this run until it's fully completed. The scan has completed and it's showing 574 results. And I've double checked the list and they are all coming from the samples folder. So it must be detecting some samples more than once. Regardless, we're going to go ahead and check the box for all of them. And then click on resolve all. Those are now done. And let's check our samples folder. It's still showing 67 results here in the samples folder. Some of these may get removed on restart. However, we're going to go ahead and still do a direct scan. Fifty-five were detected, so we're going to go ahead and check all and hit resolve all. And I'm going to click done again. Let's double check our samples folder. We're down to 14. So real quick, I'm going to restart, and then if there's any samples remaining after that, we'll go ahead and start executing. After restart, we are still at 14, so we're going to go ahead and start executing. After execution, we're down to 12, so we're going to restart one more time and then run some second opinion scans. After restart, Malwarebytes found 7, so we'll go ahead and quarantine. I did a scan with MZSoft and it did detect one result. So we will go ahead and click on delete. After all of that, we are down to four samples remaining. So that does mean that Malwarebytes and MZSoft also did not detect these four samples. That's everything for this test, but please keep in mind that this is just one type of test. Avast very well may perform differently in other types of tests. Regardless, you can take these results and draw your own conclusions, but that's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the subscribe button, the thanks button, or that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.